Hi Leo and welcome to my channel The Guided Intuitive. Uh, thank you for being here. I am here to do a four card spread that will cover the past, now, future, and then the overall outcome. Remember the, tr the energies do transcend so uh, this is kind of almost as one uh, because your now could be your future, your past could be your now. Um, you know, there's not a stop and start ending point. Uh, energies are constant, so uh, I don't have to tell you that. You guys know. Um, but I do want to let you know that this will run from February uh, 16th through the 28th, 2018. And um, if this does resonate with you, please be sure to like and subscribe and note your comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And please be sure to also join our Facebook page. It is a closed group, but you could be grandfathered in as later on um, it will, it will uh, be a, a little bit more limited. So I just kind of want to let you know. Uh, so thank you so much for being here. Uh, I hope you that you enjoy your spread and let's go ahead and get started. So in your past position, we have peace. Look at that beautiful card. So warm. I absolutely love it. It feels so good just holding it. <laughs> it really does. Now, I'm using the Gaia cards, you guys. It's his transformational cards, and they're also guidance cards. Uh, and I thought it would be appropriate, um, especially in the month of February and um also to keep the flaming heart alive too because uh, we're in the month of love. So peace, this is a 26 card and six plus two is eight. Uh, so above is below. So you've got the eight, which is the equalizer. Really love that. Um, it is about, um, you know, uh, it is also status oriented. It is about uh, uh, even high, uh, high goals, uh, practical endeavors. Um, so it is, you know, in terms of a balance. It also even talks about an eight being a high material goals. Um, so status oriented, that type of thing. And this is interesting because that's the number that's presented here. But this card strictly talks about peace and about dissolving unwanted or, dis or, or even disturbing thoughts. And boy, is this a nice relief, uh, you know, uh, here for sure. So let's talk a little bit more about this. Now, now in, in peace, I think that one of the biggest things uh, that this talks about is that there's no point in worrying about anything, right? And I don't know if you are experiencing peace right now or you currently are or you're not. But if you're not, um, this card is telling you that there's no point in worrying about things that are not in your control at this point, Okay. And, and we all know, uh, and I don't have to tell you that, Leo, that worrying does not help anyone, and nor does it help, you know, resolve anything. And quite on the contrary, it often makes things, things seem a little bit worse than they normally are, right? Or than they actually are. And so life is, 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 is kind of at that point, you know, where, how do I want to say it, that it's, we can always find something to worry about, right? Yet for our own well-being and for the well-being of those around us, that it is vital that we don't go ahead and do that at this particular time is what this wants to say. So, you know, if you feel that that's something that you're currently doing right now, it's time for us to all, and I know that we can all take this in, but predominantly it's coming up in your read. So it really, it really focuses on truly taking things in a more positive way, okay? And in, in a, a bit more of a positive way and to stop the endless cycle of those uh, disturbing thoughts um, and, and those negative thoughts. You're advised at this moment, uh, at this time, to truly train yourself to focus on the positive side of things. You might be already doing this right now, and if so, congratulations to you guys. Um, you know, every time that we're able to turn around a negative thought to a positive, it brings us much more into greater abundance and better energy to attract what we want in our life. Um, you know, so set some time aside whether it is at the beginning or at the end of each day, and even better to do both, to totally meditate. And just, you know, bring yourself to some quiet time and bring your awareness within. And truly feel yourself surrounded by love and by light, 
uh, that you see over here. <laughs> uh, truly do that and, and just totally feel that warmth um, within you because this is, is saying that it wants to you to allow that universal light of love to fill your heart and your mind at this time. I think if you imagine your thoughts just floating away, just flat, watch, you kind of imagine your, fault, your thoughts that are dissolving and floating away into space and your mind is at peace and then you can clear things out. So if, if you focus on all that you're grateful for, that is another way to do it. And, and thank Mother Earth and the universe for every blessing that you have in your life. This is what you're going to get more of, is what this wants to say. So it's just reminding you, that warmness of this light that's here. I mean, really look into it and let it envelope uh, your heart in there. And, and just bring in all that beautiful uh, sunlight and let it just really warm your heart. And then let it just push out everything else that's, that's not needed. Uh, push out any negative thought uh, within there and focus on what you're so grateful for. So that is in your past position. You might be experiencing this now, so you'll have to tell me down in the comments there, but this is, I'm really loving this, this starting off that way. Now, if we go into your now position, this is remembrance. Okay, remembrance. Now let's get into the card a little bit because we're not sure what this is first. Now it is a 21 card and two plus one is three. And that's talking about expression. It's talking about uh, verbalization, obviously. Socialization, uh, creativity, uh, and that type of thing. So this remembrance talks about resurfacing of past feelings. So as you can kind of see that there, it's a 21 card. So resurfacing of past feelings. So all we have now and what we want to remember is that we all we have now is the present moment. And while that is true, it is also true that in essence there's a you know, we've got the past, present, and future are all one, right? So we're all, we're all connected. We're all connected here. And this is saying that we are energetically connected with both the past and the future. And life is an evolving story. And where we are now is a result of where we've already been. I know that's confusing, guys, that, you know, in that process. But I think you guys, I'm sure you can get it. So the card signifies that past feelings and emotions are resurfacing for you, Leo. Okay. And it's deep within you. And you may find yourself on an emotional roller coaster over the next coming days. It's going up, it's going down and that type of thing. Okay. It's okay. Cause this happens as, as, as part of the process. It's, you know, don't fight it. This, this is fine. Okay. Um, you know, it's important to go through it. But it's also important to, to only occasionally um, remember and honor your past because it's part of your soul's journey. And remember to honor every part of it, regardless if, if you, know, you perceive some parts to be maybe good or bad and that type of thing. Because every experience that we have had has helped us become a better person and has helped us to expand and have a greater understanding and even a greater appreciation for life. So occasionally reflecting on the past is good. It's just that giving full, you know, focus to that is not good. So same thing as the future. Focusing on the future is good, but not putting your full focus on the future is not good. And, and what I say that is because we're only here in the now. Any excessive preoccupation with the past or the future robs us of your present moment. Right? And, and, and that serves no real purpose. So uh, the, the most important thing is to stay in the now. Truly stay into the now, into the moment. Bless your past. Be grateful for every experience because that experience has helped you expand your understanding, 
your understanding of love. And your life right now is unfolding as it should. The past, present, and future are one. Just honor and respect your feelings and emotions because they're they're just they're part, they're still part of you. And this wants you to to really remember is that you can reflect, but just don't stay in it. Focus on the now. What you can do today, as it's going to uh, and 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 have that vision of 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 taking the steps that you need to take as you move into that future. There, it's not always easy. Sometimes you just want to focus on one thing that moves in it. That, that says, okay, this is one step that I can take today that will bring me to that vision of what I want to see in the future. And focusing on the now and being present in the now is 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 the greatest gift. And 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 whatever we do today will bring our will be our future. So um, resurfacing of past feelings and emotions, it's okay. Acknowledge them, cherish them, bless them. And then try to do your best, uh, Leo, to focus on the now because this is where you're at. Now let's go ahead into the next following position that moves us into a future. And this says achievement. Keep focused on your dream. Now isn't that wonderful? Look at that. That lotus is just totally opening up. And this is about achievement. Now this is a... 17 so a seven plus one is an eight uh and uh, that is another eight card which is beautiful because uh this is actually just saying keep focus on your dream and this might be this i don't know if this remembrance was a relationship or if this actually just was a career type thing that you maybe had some resentment or something in who knows that's just an example i'm just throwing out there but this is saying that if you uh, keep, you know, focus on your dream, that achievement is coming out here in the future. This is really beautiful. So the eight still, again, is about high material goals. This is about, you know, practical endeavors and status oriented. So you, this might have to pertain to some sort of project or business or something like that that you might be involved in. So this is really beautiful. So achievement... Um, I think the biggest thing for this one right now is to really um, focus on what is it that is that is your goal at this time. Because this is saying that you will soon achieve a goal that you have set for yourself. Because a lot of your hard work, Leo, and a lot of your persistence is about to pay off. You know, Leo, that you deserve success. You deserve success. And uh, it is, this card is saying as this lotus unfolds that it is coming your way. This is so great, guys. I'm so glad to hear this. Now, this is what the card wants to say, that quietly acknowledge this to yourself as you really celebrate your achievements. And, and, and truly... Thank the earth and the universe for this blessing and the knowing that all that you do is a co-creation with the higher powers that be. And truly reinforce your attention back to the task at hand. This wants to tell you not to lose sight of your original purpose and, you know, and your intention. And this is only, Leo, the beginning. This is only the beginning. Much more can be accomplished and uh, it's it's it provided that you keep your focus on your dream. And it's kind of what I mentioned here is to just to keep your focus so you can achieve your dreams. And then it looks like in the future that this is unfolding, um, you know, for you uh, within your read here. So remember what is truly important to you. It may be helpful to set a new goal. And this could be bigger and more fulfilling than you've ever imagined. So a beautiful thing to keep in mind is to give thanks for all the success that is coming your way. That brings in more. And all that I do is a co-creation with my higher self and the universal light of love. And I keep focused on my dream, you know, keep that in mind. And I am grateful for what I have achieved. That's just going to bring in more abundance. So I'm excited to see this. You're going to have to let me know, Leo, on how this resonates with you. Is this, 
a relationship step that you're moving into a deeper level? Is it a new relationship? Is it a business endeavor? Is it something that you have gone through a growth in yourself and you achieve, achieve some sort of awareness internally within you? Uh, that's huge. So really take some time to give that thanks uh, and, 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 and start building on that because this card is saying this is only the beginning. So let's move into your outcome here. Sacred Heart. And this is about passion, love, and spiritual communion. Gosh, look at that, guys. Sacred Heart. I don't even ever remember getting uh, this before, so I'll have to take a look at this. But this is a 12 card, and 1 plus 2 is 3. You've got 3, 3, and then you've got 8, 8. So the threes, again, are about express, you know, uh, expression, socialization, the joy of living. Uh, so this is beautiful. And then you've got your goals mixed into there uh, as well. So what this talks about is you're entering a period of profound and heartfelt love at this time. And it's a deeply emotional time where you focus on and you question and think about the things that truly matter to you most. See, it's like that little heart's on fire, <laughs> you know? And um, you're going to find yourself reevaluating some of your priorities and your core values. And this is going to lead you along the path of, of self discovery truly bringing with it a true deepened uh, spiritual connection you know uh, you know for the for the earth and uh, the surroundings uh, with your families your friends and your loved ones so your passion and appreciation for life right now is heightened um, now this is nothing to fear because at times your emotions are going to overflow to at a time to where sometimes it feels unbearable. But please don't fear it. This is talking about that uh, it is the most one of the most sacred and, and, and precious time which your loving intentions are really being seen and felt by all of those around you. Your inner light and your wisdom illuminates, heals, and truly aspire, inspires people. So this is a really good time for a creative writing, Leo. And you may feel yourself really inclined to draw, to paint, or pick up some sort of creative pursuit of some kind. And then just thank the stars above and the earth for the many blessings that you receive. So I'm really loving this. Um, I really, really love this. Share your light and share your wisdom with others, Leo. Now I'm going to pick from the soul's journey. I'm going to pick three cards. I love these cards. Uh, I've never used them before until this read for these last two weeks for you guys. So um, it's the soul's journey cards. And I think this is appropriate. And they didn't give us any further guidance here. Let me pick this one up here. So let's go ahead and pull them. We have got sacred. We have got... Center yourself. These don't read upside down, guys. I'm just reading them all straight up. And these are believe in yourself. So the sacred part really talks about truly to recognize. And I'm going to pull it up here. Look how beautiful these are. Truly recognize and truly appreciate your life, your, of the, your divine, your pure spiritual self. Okay. And then the next one talks about being center yourself. And that's what this card is basically saying because you're having all these emotions of love and things that are, that are coming through you, you know, based upon uh, the achievements and things like that. But this is about centering yourself. And this talks about focus, ground yourself, and meditate. Okay? Truly meditate. And then the last thing is just believe in yourself. Those disturbing thoughts, believe in yourself that you can create this, these wonderful achievements and then can even move forward to push through to even greater ones. So totally believe in yourself and know that you are capable and that you are strong, Leo. 
So there you have it. Love you guys. Thank you so much. Please let me know if this resonates with you. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the month of March. Until then, namaste.